Good evening and welcome to Compline on this Monday evening. Let's just take a moment as we begin, shall we? O Christ, Son of the living God, may your holy angels guard our sleep. May they watch over us as we rest and hover around our beds. Let them reveal to us in our dreams visions of your glorious truth. O High Prince of the Universe, O High Priest of the Mysteries, may no dreams disturb our rest. May no nightmares darken our dreams. May no fears or worries delay our willing, prompt repose. May the virtue of our daily work hallow our nightly prayers. May our sleep be deep and soft, so our work be fresh and hard. I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. My dear ones, O oh God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Into your hands I commit my spirit. I give it to you with all the love of my heart. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God, how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I make the cross of Christ upon my breast over the tablet of my hard heart, and I beseech the living God of the universe May the light of lights come to my dark heart from thy place. May the Spirit's wisdom come to my heart's tablet from my Saviour. Christ without sin, Christ of wounds. I'm placing my soul and my body under thy garden this night. Christ of the poor, Christ of tears. Thy cross be my shield in this night, O thou son of tears of the wounds of the piercing. I'm going now into the sleep, albeit on thy dear arms keep, O God of grace, that I shall awake. Tonight we're thinking about faith in adversity. And I'm reading from Exodus chapter 14. As Pharaoh drew near, the Israelites looked back and spotted the Egyptians coming after them. They cried out to the Lord in terror and, and said to Moses, was it because there was no graves in Egypt that you've brought us here to die in the wilderness? Isn't this just why we were told? Isn't this just why we told you in Egypt to leave us alone and let us serve the Egyptians? We would rather have served the Egyptians than die in the wilderness. Do not be afraid, answered Moses. Stand firm and see the deliverance that the Lord will bring you today. For you will never again see the Egyptians whom you see here today. The Lord will fight for you. You have only to keep still. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and by a strong east wind throughout the night, the Lord drove the sea back, turning it into dry land as the waters divided. The Israelites passed through the sea on dry land, the waters forming a wall to their right and their left. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea so that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, their chariots and their chariot drivers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and as dawn broke, the sea returned to its place. What do we have to ponder this night? We talk sometimes of experiencing a roller coaster of emotions, and if ever that phrase was appropriate, it must surely be in describing the story of the crossing of the Red Sea. Imagine the ups and downs those involved must have gone through. The first suspense and excitement as they left Egypt to face an unknown but exciting future. Then dismay and despondency as it became apparent that Pharaoh had changed his mind and the Egyptians were coming after them. After this sheer amazement at the sight of the waters opening before them, and then, finally having crossed safely to the other side, an overwhelming sense of relief and exultation. There's a lesson here for us. Life does not always go smoothly. It brings a fair, its fair share of challenges, even times when the future looks hopeless. But come what may, 
God is with us in both the good and the bad. Remember that next time trouble strikes. Whatever the obstacle confronting you, God is able to lead you safely through. I refer to my previous comment, how big is God? The bigger we think. So ask yourself this evening, are there times when God has overcome sin, seemingly immovable obstacles? Let me read that again. Are there times when God has overcome seemingly immovable obstacles in your path? How did he help you? Let's pray. Lord, it's easy to follow you when life is going well. Much harder when I come up against problems. Father, forgive me the weakness of my faith for being a fair weather disciple, swift to turn back when the going gets tough. Help me to recognise that there are times when I must face challenges and overcome apparently insurmountable obstacles. And teach me that you are as much there in those times as at any other. Give me courage to walk wherever you lead, confident that you will never forsake me. Amen. My Christ, my Christ, my shield, my defender, each day, each night, each light, each dark. My Christ, my Christ, my shield, my encircler, each day, each night, each light, each dark. Be near me, uphold me, my treasure, my triumph. Circle me, Lord, keep protection near and danger afar. Circle me, Lord, keep light near and darkness afar. Circle me, Lord, keep peace within and evil out. The peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining myself and Teddy, who just looks like a little blob in his, his bed this evening. And remember, in the dark times, Christ is still there. God is still bigger than we could ever imagine. Take care of yourselves as you take care of others. Pray for yourself as you pray for others. Good night and God bless you.